Hey everyone, Panda back with you, and we are checking out Electric's new 3.0 series. They have your normal ones with their normal battery, and they have the long range series available. Now, we're going to get into this closer and take a look here. Um, your standard uh, versions are $9.99, and your long range versions, which give you the bigger battery, are $11.99. Let's go ahead and just, uh, I want to do a little comparison here. I have the XP 2.0. I want to see the differences between the uh, 3.0 and this one here. The standard. It looks like the bike comes standard with a suspension seat post now. It says these are free. Free. Right here. Black, okay. Black Friday bundle is free if you get the bike. At this point right now okay so let's get into uh, the specs and see what we have here bike overview fan accessories includes you have seen a passenger pad that can hold riders up to 150 pounds important thing to realize you must be 18 years of age or older to ride I think that's really important I know there's been issues in the past um, Motor, new upgraded 1,000-watt peak rear hub motor. Now, 1,000 watts, so it's not a 1,000-watt motor. Like the motor on the uh, 2.0 is a 500-watt with a peak of 800 watts. Standard battery, 48 volt. That's okay, mine. Front suspension fork. Speed, obviously the same. <clears throat> Class 1, 2, or 3 if you unlock that. Um, mainly, let's get into the specs. Let's see what the specs are. Okay, we still have 20 by 3 inch uh, fat tires. Okay, battery. Battery is the same if you get the standard version. Weight. Weight is about the same. Let's see. Backlit heads up. LCD display provides trip and battery intelligence on the go. IP rate electrical components ensure greater water and dust resistance. All right, you know, we, that, that's similar. Ah, free will. Well, wait, let's get into this first. Integrated rear rack motor. Okay, a okay, yeah, it is a 500-watt hub motor with a 1,000-watt peak. So it is a bigger motor. Oh, it comes with a 20-amp controller. Okay, yeah, uh, the stock controller is a little bit lower than that, actually. If I recall right, uh, stock controller was like 16 or 17 amps. So this would definitely be a slightly bigger controller as well. Free will. Ah, here's another difference. 1128 tooth free will. Now on the uh, 2.0, the stock free will was a 1428. I remember that because I upgraded mine to an 1134. Okay, charging is the same. Interchangeable spare batteries. Okay, saddle and grip. New custom design saddle and softer. Grips comfortable and sport or look by adding comfort. Okay, so it sounds like the saddle and grips might be different. Throttle, okay, same as 2.0. Suspension fork, front oil. It's Miller travel softens any ride. Okay, so we have suspension fork still. Brakes. Oh, here's an upgrade right here. 180 millimeter mechanical disc brakes. The uh, 2.0, my 2.0 is 160 millimeter. Okay, definitely not a bad deal. This is actually a good deal. Nine ninety nine, yeah. Believe me, if I uh, could, if I could afford it, I would get it. I'd sure love to have one just to try out. I mean, I'd be really curious. Uh, the difference of the brakes on this bike, you know, the the different free wheel right out of the box, and the thousand watt uh, peak watt motor. Oh, I'd be really excited about that. So yeah, hey, now's the time to uh, upgrade your bikes, guys. If you're uh, have any of the 2.0s you want to get into a 3.0 with some of these added benefits i would definitely jump and do it right now guys so other than that yep you can uh check them out electric bikes electric ebikes.com you can find everything right there on their website you guys keep safe out there i'll see you on the next electric 2.0 or huh, who knows maybe a 3.0 video keep safe guys